How's it going, everybody? Just thought I'd do a quick video on how I move the cows on a really small scale. It's kind of like the Greg Judy style of rotation. Um, just what I call on a micro scale because it's so small. They're about ready to go into this new square. So you can see they're kind of at the gate now. So this square right here, these posts, this will just be uh, about eight hours worth of feed. And then uh, they'll go from that square to this back chunk that runs up to the uh, the permanent fence back there. So let's go ahead and get them moved. Hey, girls. Hey, girls. These are Dexter's. Got a uh, four-year-old. He's uh, about one, one year and a few months. She's two, she just had her first calf, and then that one back there is two as well, heifer. So I just use these little clip-on um, deals from Premier One. Come on, girls. So they get moved twice a day, every day. You can see she's ruminating, so she's already been up eating this morning, but gave him a little bit of dry hay this morning. Uh, this stuff is, uh, you know, as Greg, Greg calls it, super washy stuff. Um, their manure was getting a little loose and we had a good amount of rain last night. So just threw some nice dry hay out. She wants attention, not food. So yeah, I'll, uh, I work off of square feet. Obviously Greg Judy does, um, you know, so many head per acres, um, per hour. Uh, this pasture here is only about two and a half acres. Um, so I work off of square feet. I'll calculate out how many square feet I think, you know, each animal needs, multiply that by four right now. And then a lot that for it's usually about eight hours um for those twice a day moves so yeah i use a lot of premier one stuff um my reels because my my greatest span is about 400 feet east to west on this pasture the the, the greatest span is 400 feet so i can get away with using these um i can't remember what they're called they're basically the the cheapest version of the reels from premier one um and i I wouldn't probably try and fit more than 400 feet. This is turbo wire from Gallagher that I'm using, the electric wire, and Premier One step-in posts. But uh, I probably wouldn't try and get more than um, more than 400 feet on these little reels, uh, just because they don't they don't hold that much. And if you weigh them down too much, it's pretty tough to stick them on the on the post to hold them so so yeah there's my gate now they're just in this small square and then i'll use just these alligator clips to power it power that cross fence it's probably tough to see but this permanent permanent uh fence all along back here there's a post with the birdhouse on it that's that's got my hot wire on it. It's four four strand uh, high tensile electric, and the solar charger from Gallagher is just back in the corner, and that's hooked up to um, back in that corner back there. There. And that just hooked up to one of the strands on that fence. And then same thing, I use the alligator clips from the permanent fence up there 
uh, to power the electric strip. So it works out. It works out really well. Again, with these Dexters, they're not as large. Um, so they don't test the fence as much. That little calf, she's really starting to figure out that it's electrified. She'll touch her nose to it and get a little shock, but she's not as heavy, so she doesn't make great ground contact. So she'll kind of come and go underneath the fence as she pleases, but it's no big deal. So yeah, I just wanted to show that, uh, you know, the Greg Judy style of moving can be done on a super small scale. I've got two permanent pastures, this two and a half acre one, and then up there through the gate closer to the house, that's another about two and a half acres. So they get strip grazed through here, twice a day moves. Uh, and then when I hit the end, if the grass isn't ready to be grazed again, I'll move them up to that front pasture and do the same thing. So it works out. It's just uh, not, as, not as convenient because you're making a lot of little small strips.